guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new, welcome. And uh, this is all about plants. So I actually, guys, so today we're gonna talk about these ZZ plants. Um, these are one of my favorite plants. Um, they're pretty easy to grow. And the one thing that I really love about them, <clears throat> excuse me, is the shiny leaves that they have. Um, you don't really have to shine them much uh, because they're naturally that way. Um, so I actually went <clears throat> food shopping the other day and I found this CZ and look beautiful. Look how nice and full this plant is. You guys see that? Now, I know that you realize that it is overgrown in its flower pot. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like just a little closer. But look, it is like popping out of this flower pot. So that is the reason why I actually purchased it. Um, and it was a pretty good price. I think it was like $12.99 for this nice old ZZ. Um, but I knew that I was gonna repot it anyway. Now I have a couple of these already throughout the house, but they're not this mature. Um, so, and I know I have a lot of patience, guys, for plants to grow, um, but being that this was a pretty good deal, um, you know, I didn't want to pass off on that. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to repot this uh, ZZ plant. Now, this plant um, loves a lot of light um, and uh, loose soil because ZZs are known for, uh, for root rot. So if you overwater these plants, they will definitely get root rot. Um, so what I do is I wait until they dry up the soil about maybe a quarter of an inch that it's dry up on the top. Um, and then I water it again. And, um, and again, I don't put much water, just a little bit, just enough to um, water the soil and just a little bit of those roots, let it dry, and then just repeat that process weekly. Um, or as long as it takes to dry. In the summertime, um, a little bit more. In the winter, a little less, uh, depending on also how the temperature is in the house here. So um, I do want to, I'll show you, I prepared the soil already. Um, now for this plant, I prepared the soil. So what I did was, um, here's, this is what the soil looks like. And it's pretty loose soil. It's regular potting soil, pretty loose. Um, I did put in a little bit of peat moss in there and extra perlite. So it makes it pretty fluffy um, because I don't want water, to, uh, this soil to kind of hold on to that water. Um, so that's my mixture of soil here that I'm going to use for these, for this season. I'm going to pot it here, and then later on I'm going to buy a really pretty pot to put this in. Uh, but for now, it is going to get repotted in here. And then the bigger the pot, the more those roots are going to grow, so then the larger the plant will grow. Um, so now I'm going to try to get this ZZ out from here. Don't know how simple that's going to be, and I don't want to make a mess. Oh boy. All right, so it's within a pot. All right, so now it's this and this black pot. And you know what? There's no way it's gonna come out of there without me cutting it out. So I am going to cut this pot out of here. Oh boy, these roots, oh my gosh. This is like way overgrown. at the seam there so it's it was already definitely breaking out of this pot um, I'm just glad that I came in and rescued it so let me just finish cutting this thing out of this flower pot make sure that I don't damage these roots and here it is wow look at these roots guys did you guys see that All right, now at this point I can decide, do I want to divide this or do I just want to plant it as it is? Hmm, it seems easy to divide. I think I want to divide it, guys. 
because look, as I'm pulling it apart, look what's happening. I ended up with two plants. So I didn't plan to pot, to repot it in, uh, in two separate pots, but now that I did, it is pretty big. So I will pot one, repot one, and I can do the other one a little bit later on. So let me get the soil in here. And again, this very good soil. Um, again, you could just buy just regular soil and then just um, you can add in anything extra that you need based on what the plant needs. Um, so on this one again, I just wanted to put a little perlite just to, it can um, keep that soil a little bit, it just a little moist, not too, too, too dry. Um, and you can grab a little bit of that water. All right, so I'm going to, I have gloves. This time I have gloves. Gloves, guys. I'm going to put them on because I don't want to get the dirt in my nails. Not that I didn't bother me any of the time, but I think today I'm just going to use them. All right, so I'm going to make room in the center. Just going to kind of push the soil to the side like this. Push it off to the side and then put your plant in. And actually I'm going to select this one. I'm going to take out of just a little bit of this old soil here. Just pull it out like this. Just clean out those roots just a little bit more. You don't have to take them out completely because it's got pretty good roots. Um, there's nothing that's rotten in here. There's nothing that's dead in here. Um, so I'm going to place it right in the center, right there. Put a little in. And then I'm going to bring that soil closer in. Now, I don't want to um, cover completely the, the roots for this. I'm going to leave them just a little bit out uh, because I'm afraid that um, I don't want to get that root rot in there and the, for those roots to be completely in. So I'm going to expose just a little bit of those roots, okay? So I'm going to keep just a little bit showing. And that's okay. All right, so my plant looks pretty good here. Um, so the only thing I'll probably have to do is just water it, place it in a nice bright area. I could leave it in the um, in my indoor greenhouse for maybe a week or two until it takes on, just to make sure. Um, but it looks pretty good. I pretty much centered it. It's right in the center. It's got that soil. But look how beautiful this plant looks. And I think this is the perfect flower pot, guys. Like I said, um, I did show a little bit of that soil. Um, I may have to put in a little bit more just to keep that soil nice and tight in there. Make sure it's compact in there. Um, but... I think overall it looks beautiful. Look at that. So that's repotting a ZZ. Again, it's not um, difficult. Uh, ZZs are pretty easy to work with. Um, I actually haven't had any problems with ZZs, guys. Um, I have, like I said, I'm going to show you the ones that I have and, um, and show you why I decided to definitely get this one. So let me show you what I have. So now I have two of the large ones and then let me show you what the, uh, what mine look like. All right, so here are the CZs that I have. Um, again, they still are pretty small. Um, here's this one here, look how beautiful. I have the Raven. So the Raven is, um, the, the leaves are dark nice and dark those leaves are and look how much they shine so i'm waiting for this to continue to grow then i have actually that's not a potato guys 
that's a uh, Stefania and I'm waiting for that to come in I've been waiting quite some time so I don't know what's going on um, but that's a Stefania in there and then there's the other ZZ right here so if you guys can see um, they look pretty healthy they're just slow growers again I have to you know wait till to the shoots come up um, actually this this is a new one here so those are the CZs that I have and now you know why I actually purchased the large one because again being my, mine are still small and the other one is definitely large but look I can't help but look at this beautiful ponytail palm and I got this last week and again, this one, um, I also have to make sure that I let that dry, let that soil dry. But look how beautiful this root ball is. Oh my goodness. I love this ponytail palm. Um, these are beautiful plants to have. And again, these these grow pretty big. If you guys take a look at the video uh, where I actually videotaped the plants at my office, at my job, um, there was a ponytail palm in there that was, um, it was pretty big. Um, so they do get pretty large. And then here's my, um, you know, syngonium, my pink syngonium. Isn't that gorgeous? And then look at the pot that I have it in. Believe it or not, guys, I found this at the Goodwill. Look at that. And it has the handle. I took the handle off because then I can't put the little pot in here. Uh, but I can, t once I'm done using, I repot that syngonium. I can put the handle and I can put another plant in here, smaller plant. But look at these beautiful, and this is ceramic. So you guys can get these beautiful flower pots also at your local Goodwill if you, um, if you stop by uh, periodically. And I also picked up this container for the ponytail palm. Isn't it gorgeous? So that's where it's sitting. I also picked that one up at the Goodwill. All right, so these are my little CZs. And then, again, these are my new large CZs. So if you guys get an opportunity, you guys see these, you can find them at your, actually I picked this up at ShopRite. You can pick them up at, they pretty much, they're pretty common now. You can pick them up at any store, any uh, department store, um, more like a, like a nursery or a, a, again, your local supermarket. Um, don't pass off that opportunity to own one of these beautiful ZZs. And actually these, I next time I get my nails done, guys, I'm going to show you what the ZZ plant looks like in there. It is huge. They must have had it for years and years. So I will bring you a picture of that also. So again, guys, um, I will repot this one um, once I am done the video, um, just to make sure that the roots doesn't go through shock. So then I'll just have two of them. I do have enough, uh, the same flower pot in my indoor greenhouse. guys I hope you guys had a chance to again enjoy this video and I hope that you learn how to repot ZZ's and how to take care of them uh, again I water once a week I use loose soil perlite a little bit of peat moss in there with that mix um, give it lots of light and um, every now and then I'll just come in and just clean those leaves um, even though they don't really need it much because they're always shiny um, so thank you for watching and I uh, hope you guys get an opportunity. Check me out on Instagram on Not Afraid to Garden where I post all of my videos, I mean all of my pictures actually of what's going on with these plants. So if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button and please don't forget to hit the like, okay? Um, so thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.